Hey, welcome back. I want to cover with us just some basic infield depth stuff. So one of the things we do with our younger guys, most of our older players know this, but if they want to watch a video on the depths, it wouldn't be bad to hear it again. For the younger guys, new guys in our program, I want you to understand where you're going to play on the field at all times. So a basic depth that we use, we have depth one, which means nobody on, nobody out. At the start of the game, depth one might change for our third baseman, depending on where the one, two hitters are and what they think they might do. They might ultimately play up on them. Depth one for us is basic. It's five and five. So I can take it for a younger player and you could do this to feel where you want to be on the field. Older guys just know where to stand. All right, but if you're a younger guy and you're unsure, point yourself at second base. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is the depth that I'll play at third base in depth one. So you're also aware we may move you at any time as a coach. In our, as a program wide, we move with a couple different hand signals. This is always in, move in, always back, side to side. Okay, we might also tell you this, this is also in. So if I'm telling you from the dugout to do this, that means I want you to come up. Depth one, nobody on, nobody out. Depth two, we're in double play depth. So we're going to have a guy at first or a guy at first and second. When this situation hits, I'm usually at a five and a two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. So I'm a little bit shorter in the depth, but I'm in that same prep position. Okay, five and two is our double play depth. All right, so we cover depth one and two, depth three. For these guys in the middle of the field, we'll be halfway. For our guys here at third base, we're going to be even. All right, so that's going to be five off and straight up even. So I'm in this position. Remember here, we always have our hitch and a bump with a guy on third base. All right, the other one we'll have is depth four. When we go four, we're usually crossing our arms to coaching staff here or here and telling you four. Sometimes you may see this is a four. You might see this is a halfway. Okay, the other thing that we might run is a chop, and that means we're going to come in really late into a four position. We'll cover these things collectively as a group, but I need you to know your basic depths. So a true four will be five off and two in. So I know my five steps, one, two. That's my positions at third. The last piece of this thing that I wanna talk about is late in the game, you might hear us say no doubles. Okay, we run no doubles. That means we wanna work closer to the line. I don't wanna stand on the line. I wanna be closer to the line. So us, no doubles will be three, and back five, okay? So I'm back further, but now I'm taking away the angle here, and that's our no doubles. All right guys, so now we're just gonna go over our depths at second base. So whether you're a shortstop or second baseman, they're exactly the same. So our first depth, like Coach Neymar was saying over at third base, is just our normal depth. So what it is, it's seven off, seven back. So you're just gonna get here. If you want, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven back. Five, six, seven. This is our normal depth for defensive one. Now, our no play depth, or depth two, it's gonna be five off, five back. With this one, we wanna be a little bit closer to the base. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we're a little bit closer here, in order for us to give an underhand feed and get out, get a double play going a little bit faster. For depth number three, which is our halfway depth, our, our corners are about even. We want to be about seven off, two back. All right, so we're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So we're just in this depth. That way we're able to read a runner on third base and go from there. We're for four depth, you're still out at seven, you're two in now. All right, so our job here is to be able to cut down a runner there and be a little bit closer in order for us to drive towards home. Okay guys, we just covered some infield depth at first base as well as showing our first baseman how to hold a runner. So depth number one, we're in a big infield. So for us at first base, we'll be the same as third base. We'll be five off and five back. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll play back here, and this is my regular depth and depth number one. Depth two is our double play depth. Ultimately, anytime we're gonna be in depth two, or most often in depth two, we'll have a runner at first base with us, okay? 
So depth two here, and this is where I want to cover for you how we're going to hold the runner. A lot of young guys are here. Some of us are holding the bag. We don't need to step on the base unless we're doing a force play ever. Even on tags and tag, we don't need to have our foot on the base, guys. So let's focus on being kind of in this position. For us right now, I want us just to get our shoulders squared to our pitcher as we're working here. So this is depth number two. I'll be in an athletic position. And essentially, I'm not straddling this. I'm kind of on that corner edge here and just working this way. Some other guys might tell you to be more turned. Someone might tell you to be this way. I'm okay with a little bit of adjustment to all of this. I just want to make sure that we're never in a position where we're way out of position. Okay, so this depth two, we're in here. The pitcher releases the ball. I want to take a shuffle prime, or it's not our primary, but it's almost like taking a secondary lead as a base runner. So I'm in this position to hold the runner. Pitcher delivers. I come off. One thing I like to have our guys do when they come off is I try to have them avoid coming or avoid coming off and coming forward. I feel like that cuts some of our angles down. So we'll come off straight. And remember, we're always looking for what? Pac-Man from our catchers. This guy is aggressive with that secondary. We're on a basic Pac-Man back to our catcher. Depth number three. For us, that's essentially going to be even. Right? So we got a guy on third base. We'll just be five off and essentially even, okay? Depth four, we're gonna be five off and two in. So now we're really working to cut that runner off at, at home plate, All right? So at depth three, where we're double play depth, we're checking the runner, trying to get out. Depth four, we're attacking if he's going. If not, we gotta make sure the out. Okay, those are our depths at first base. 